Thank you for joining in on Debo's today. And again, we're looking at the subject matter of procrastination. Now, I want to look at procrastination keeps you from being saved. Now, it's kind of odd that I would bring this one up because you know, just about everybody I know that's watching devotions are Christians, or I hope that you're a Christian. You, you know, you, you could be going to church and you could say you love God and everything, but you want to be sure you're a Christian. You want to be sure that you know God, that there was a moment, a time, and a place in your life which you trusted in Jesus. Okay, now, if you are a Christian, I don't want you procrastinating on trying to lead your friends or your neighbors or loved ones to Jesus. Now, I want you to see this here with me. This is in Acts 24, 25. So uh, here, here we are. Uh, we have Felix, and, and at that time, uh, you know, here, here, here he is in political power, and Paul's brought in before him, and, and he's really interested in Paul. He actually likes Paul. You know, there's non-Christian people who like preachers. And that's amazing, because I got Christians who don't like the preachers, you know, but especially me. Oh, well, but so here, but, but Felix really liked Paul, and Paul went in and spoke to him. Look what happened. And as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control and the coming judgment, Paul is pointing out to Felix, you're not going to heaven. You're going to go to hell. And I want you to go to heaven. Look what happens. Felix was alarmed. He was alarmed and said, go away uh, for the present. When I get an opportunity, I will summon you. He goes, I'm not ready for this yet. Felix is procrastinating about becoming a Christian. Oh, what I'm saying here is so sad. I'm going to give you an example. When I do a funeral, most of my funerals are filled mostly with lost people that don't know Jesus. Uh, let me tell you what they'll say. When I'm done with that funeral, most of them that I get a chance to talk to will say to me, that was really an unusual service. That was a wonderful service because they've never heard a gospel service. And just so you know, don't ask me to do your funeral, which I guess if you're dead, I guess you wouldn't ask. Okay, your loved one's funeral without knowing that I am going to try to lead them to Jesus Christ. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I always do that in a funeral service. And so the people are like, we're impressed. They go, wow, they, something was really moving. I'll talk to him about coming to church and about importance of being saved. They're like listening and thinking, I mean, this is all this. Stuff. And guess what? 99% of them procrastinate and we never see them. Felix went to hell as far as we know. That's really sad. Why? Because he procrastinated. Look here, James 4, 14. You do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. He goes, what is your life? You are in, like a mist, like, like a boiling water there. That appears just for a little time and then vanishes away. He's talking about your physical life in this life. Look in Luke 12, 40. He says, you must be ready. And this is for Christians. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you don't expect. Look, listen. There's no such thing as ready. There's only now. You might as well just do it now. Okay, so if you're not saved, then you need to get saved. If you've never trusted in Jesus, then you need to trust in him. If you are saved, there are people around you that don't know Jesus. Listen, skip. You're afraid they're going to think you're weird. Forget I'm going to ruin my relationship with my loved one. I would rather ruin the relationship with my loved one and try everything I can to get them into heaven than to watch them go to hell because I'm nothing but a little people pleaser where I was afraid. I, stop that. Don't procrastinate. If you need to be saved, I want you to trust in Jesus today. If you are already saved, I want you to try to lead those people to Christ. Do not procrastinate. You know why? One day every human being will wish they were born again, or they will wish they were never born at all.